now in this session we are going to work on this payment page i'll just show you the demo now here i am having you can see once the payment is paid and here the status will be changed to complete and inside this i'll be getting this paid again when i click on this confirm here i am having all this option net banking confirm payment is done you can see the status will be changed to paid and also this has been changed to complete okay now we are going to work on this particular page we are going to design this thing and also before that let me just come to home page now inside this index.php here i am having this register you can see we are having this register let me just open this inside this i am having this register now in place of this if the user is active then instead of displaying this register i just have to display my account i'll come here i'll come to home page now user is active now i don't want register here i want my account whenever user logs in and when user clicks on my account that profile should be displayed for user so here i'm just going to write php code and inside this i'm just going to check for the same condition i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay if session variable is set okay if this is set then i have to display this one i'll just copy this here i'm just going to paste that one now in place of this i just have to display my account i'll just change it to single quotes now my account is present inside profile.php else here i'll be closing this if and after that i'm just going to write else inside this let me just copy the same thing here i'll be pasting that one instead of this i'm just going to copy this one here i'll be pasting that register and after that i'm just going to write here user registration i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste okay this is the simple thing you have to do i'll save this one now i'll just refresh this now you can see user is active so here i am getting this my account i'll click on log out now you can see here i am having login okay once i click on log out here i'll be getting register again i'll just click on login i'm just going to write here khanam 12 password i'll just give 1234 login login successful okay here i'll be getting my account okay inside this home also i'm having this my account okay if you don't want to give inside this profile.php then you can just remove from here okay it completely depends on you now when i click on order details all the order details is been displayed now when i click on confirm payment i should be redirected to confirm payment.php okay this file i have not created i'm just going to create that file inside users area i'm just going to create that file i'll just write here confirm payment confirm payment dot php i'll just come here now i'll refresh this one now here i will not be having any error because now i have created this file now inside this confirm payment now this file we are not going to include in any file so first we have to connect to the database inside this file now from here i'll just come to profile dot php and from here i'm just going to copy this entire thing and inside this i'm just going to paste that one i'll just close this first i'm just going to include this connect.php i don't have to include this function because i'm not going to use any function inside this one and also i have started this session variable now inside this user orders.php here i have given confirm payment now i have to access the order id okay because for each and every order we are having one order id that is primary in the entire table i'll just copy this order id and inside this i'm just going to paste that one okay so for that i'll just write here order id order id is equal to that id i'll save this now i'll just come back i'll just refresh this one now whenever i click on this confirm you can see below i'm having confirm payment and order id is equal to 1 for this order id is equal to 2 and for this order id is equal to 3 now when i click on this inside url also i'm having this order id now for this particular order id i have to do the payment so for that i'm just going to access the order id first now inside this below this i'm just going to check for the condition if is set using this get method i'm just going to access the order id okay if this is set only then i have to access this order id i'll just create one variable i'll just give my variable name as order id and inside this i'm just going to assign the value whatever i got from uh, url i'll just remove this one now if i just write here echo and here i'll be writing order id i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now okay get let me just change the spelling i'll just write here get 
I'll save this. I'll just refresh this one. Now you can see three is been displayed because here I'm having order ID is three. So that is been displayed. I'll come back now for order ID two, two will be displayed. Now again for order ID one, one will be displayed. Okay, this is how we are going to access the order ID. Now once it is done below this, I'm just going to write this basic boilerplate. Here I'll be writing payment page. And below this, I'm just going to link bootstrap CSS link. I'll just come to profile.php and from here, I'm just going to copy this bootstrap CSS link and inside this, I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, what I have done, I have just accessed the ID, I have included connect file and also I have started the session. Now first for entire body, I'm just going to give the class, Ca class I'll just write here BG secondary. I'll save this. Now I'll just refresh this one. Now you can see the class has been applied and also I'm just going to comment this one. Now below this body, I'm just going to create one diff and for this diff, I'll just give the class name as container. Okay, this is bootstrap class. And for this, I'm just going to give margin top and bottom of five. Inside this container, I'm just going to create the form. Action, I'm not going to give anything because whatever action I'm going to perform, that will be performed in the same file. Here, I'll be giving method. Method is nothing but post. Using post method, I'll be sending all the data to the database. Now, inside this, I'll just create one div. And for this div, I'm just going to give the class as form outline. And also, I'm just going to give some margin margin top and bottom of fold and I'll just write a text center okay these are bootstrap classes so if you are not aware then you don't have to worry about this inside this I'm just going to create input field type will be text and inside this I'm just going to give the class class I'll just write here form control form control I'll just save this one now I'll refresh this now you can see here I'm having this input field now before that I just have to give this h1 heading I'll just copy this one now below this body, I'm just going to create H1. For this, I'll just give the class as text center. Inside this, I'm just going to paste and also I'm just going to give the color text light. Now if I refresh here, I'm having confirm payment. Now this H1, I'll bring inside this diff container. I'll refresh this. Now here I'm having confirm payment. Now this input field is very large. So what I'm going to do inside this input field, I'll just write here width to be 50 and also I'm just going to give margin auto. Okay, so that it will come in the center. Now I'll just refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having this input field. Now still I want, still I want to reduce the size. So for this diff container, I'm just going to give width to be 50 and margin to be auto. I'll save this. Now I'll just refresh this one. You can see here I'm having this input field. Now below that I'm having this amount. Let me just come here. Okay, this is for invoice number. Before that, let me just add here name. Name is equal to invoice number. Invoice number. Okay, this inside this value, whatever we are having inside the database that we are going to display here. As of now, I'm just going to leave as it is. Then I'm just going to copy this one. And below this, I'm just going to paste. And instead of this, I'm just going to write here amount. I'll save this. I'll come here. I'll refresh my project. Okay, now here I'm having amount. Okay, if you want to add, you can give the text as well. Now inside this, I'm just going to add here label. Here I'll just write here amount. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having this amount. For this, I'm just going to change the class. Class, I'll just write here text light. I'll save this. Now if I just refresh this one, the color has been changed. Then below that, I'm having this select and inside this, I'm having all these options. So below this diff container, I'm just going to create another diff. I'll just copy the same thing. And here I'm going to paste. And from inside this, I'm just going to remove this one. Now inside this diff container, I'll just write here select. Let me just write here select. And for this name, I'm just going to give here payment mode. Then ID as of now, I'm just going to remove. Inside this select, I'm just going to add options. I'll just write here option, option into six. Okay, let me just write here option into five. And inside this, as of now, I'm not going to pass any value. Okay. 
I'm going to remove all these things and inside this I'm just going to pass all these options. First I'll be writing here select payment mode and inside this I'll be adding some options here. I'll be adding UPI then here I'm going to add net banking then after that I just have to pass here PayPal then here I'll be adding a uh, cash on delivery cash on delivery and finally we are having pay offline I'll just remove this one and instead of this I'm just going to write here pay offline I'll save this I'll just refresh this one now here I'm having this select and when I click on this I'm having all this option now for this I'm just going to add bootstrap class now for this select I'll be adding the class class I'm just going to give here form select okay this is bootstrap class and also I'm just going to give width to be 50 and margin to be auto I'll save this now I'll just refresh this one now you can see all the stylings has been applied now below that I'm having this button so again I'm just going to copy the same diff below this diff I'm just going to paste that one I'll just remove this entire thing now in place of this I'll just create here input field type will be submit I'll just write here submit and for this I'm just going to add the class class I'll just write here bg info bg info padding top and bottom 2 and left and right I'm just going to give here 3 and I don't need any border so I'll just write here border to be 0 I'll save this now I'll just refresh this one now here I'm having submit button now in place of this I'll just write here value now here I'm just going to write value and instead of submit I just want to write here confirm okay that is confirm payment then after that I'm just going to add this name attribute and inside this I'll just write here confirm payment confirm payment I'll save this now I'll just refresh this one now it has been changed now later on we are going to write the PHP code to do all the necessary things so before that okay now we are done with this basic form now what I have to do I have to fetch the image okay whatever data we are having for this order ID one that invoice number and amount I have to display here okay that I have to fetch from the database so below this I'm just going to write the query I'll just write here query I'll just write here select select data and inside this I'm just going to pass this one select star from select star from user orders where where order ID which is present inside the database is equal to this order ID okay if these and if these are getting matched only then I have to access that particular record after that I have to execute this query I'll just write here result and here I'm just going to write my SQLI query and here I'll be writing connection variable and also I'm just going to write here select data once I have done now I have to fetch the order ID from the database once I have done this one once I have done this one I have to fetch the amount and invoice number from the database here I'll be writing row fetch inside this I'll be writing here my SQLI fetch ASOC my SQLI fetch ASOC and inside this I'm just going to pass this result variable then after that I have to fetch the invoice number I'll just write here invoice number invoice number and inside this I'll be writing here row fetch and inside this I'm just going to pass the invoice number okay this is the column name that is present inside the database then finally I have to pass amount to due amount to due I'll copy this one and inside this I'm just going to paste okay let me just check whether I'm having the same column name here I'm having invoice number and here I'm having amount to due okay these two things I'm having now these two things I just have to pass inside this input fields now here I'll be writing value value is equal to inside this PHP I'll just do echo and here I'll just copy this one and here I'll just write echo variable name I'll save this now if I just refresh this one you can see the invoice number whatever I am having for this order that is being displayed let me just refresh this one so that I'll be getting all the three orders inside this table you can see I'm having all the three orders and for first order whatever invoice number I'm having that is being displayed for me in the same way I just have to display the amount I'll just copy this one and here I'll be pasting that and instead of this I'll just copy this amount to due and here I'm just going to paste that one I'll save this I'll refresh this one now you can see 50 is been displayed because here I'm having 50 now I'll come back 
now i'll just click on order id 2 you can see for order id 2 this invoice number is there and that has been displayed and amount is 150 and that has been displayed okay we are done with this now next we are going to work how to select all this data when i click on this confirm how this entire data should be stored inside the payment page okay next we will be writing the code for that 